A welcome to the As God for our Sunday worship service. And I uh, uh, welcome everybody. Those who are watching or those who want to watch online and all of us here are uh, welcome. Now can we stand up so we can pray to start our service unto the Lord. Let your living water flow over my soul. Let your Holy Spirit Come and take control. Every situation that has trouble my mind, all my cares and burdens are to you. I roll. Let's go. Let your living water. Over my soul, oh, let your Holy Spirit come and take control. Every situation that is above my mind, oh, my cares to you, our oh, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Right, Father, Father. unto God to come here ourselves and open our heart to the Lord. Lord, we come here in your presence to give you glory. We have come in your presence to bless your name. We have come in your presence, Lord, to, to, to give all glory, all praise to you because you're the only one who deserves the praise and the worship. Lord, let them be exalted in this place. 
Lord, come and dwell in our midst. Send us your Holy Spirit, that the Holy Spirit is going to lead us to service. Lord, we need our church. Lord, we love commit everything that you're going to do in this place unto you. Be the Alpha and the Omega. The one who's going to lead us from beginning unto end. The one who take control of everything. And uh, ultimately, what we say, oh God, let your name be blessed. Let your name be exalted. Because you're the only one, the Father of all souls. The Father of all those that believe in you, Lord. We come in you, Lord, and we know, God, you have something that you're going to tell us, something that you're going to change in our lives, something that you're going to do for the glory of your name, because we come humbly before you, and we give you glory and praise in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. I ask Papa Joseph to make uh, the opening prayer. Père Céleste, nous voulons te dire grand merci. Grand merci Seigneur parce que tu nous donnes encore ce jour et nous sommes venus en ta présence Seigneur. agréez nous en ta présence Seigneur. Nous sommes venus te dire merci pour toute la semaine que nous avons passée avec toi et te louer et te rendre grâce et reconnaître que tu es notre Dieu. Amen. Dirige toutes choses, dirige ce culte par ton esprit. Alléluia. Du début à la fin, Seigneur. Yes, Lord. Sois avec nous. Alléluia. Dans le nom de Jésus-Christ, nous avons prié. Amen. Amen. Now, let's join the worship team to praise and to worship our God. In the same atmosphere, we're going to welcome the presence of the Lord in this place. Alléluia. Is worthy and him alone deserves to be praised. Yes, Lord. If we are here this morning, it's not because of our own strength. It's not because we want it, but it's because he gave us the grace here. We're going to welcome him and thank him for every single moment of our life. Hallelujah. Blessing and honor, glory and power, teacher. That's a wisdom and strength. Blessing and honor. Glory and power. Riches and wisdom and strength. So be all to you. All to you. All to you.
Jésus, le roi de roi, le Tout-Puissant, le bon berger, il est digne d'être élevé. Amen. Amen. Est-ce qu'il y a quelqu'un qui a envie ce matin? Il y a quelqu'un qui a envie ce matin. Si tu as envie aujourd'hui, nous allons dire, Seigneur, tu es bon parce que je suis en vie. Amen. Seigneur, tu es bon parce que tu as pour ma famille. Amen. Jésus, 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We go to the worship. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Hallelujah, Lord. You are glorious, God. Hallelujah. Your name is above all the name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. Bless be your name. Hallelujah. Glory, glory. We bow down and worship Yahweh. We bow down, hallelujah. We bow down and worship. all your burden and just tell him Yahweh I've come to bow down I've come to bow down in spite of my problem in spite of the things that I'm going through I've come to bow down just to worship you just to give you all the glory I've come it's just me nobody else whole heart I've come to bow down and worship Father hear me as Abba Father hear me as I cry out to you we bow Oh, <laughs> 
Jesus, worthy of our praise. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, glory to your name, Lord. Your name is Jehovah. Your name is Jehovah. God of money, the God of saints, the God is worthy. The only one, hallelujah, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah. Jay. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord is here this morning to talk to us, to speak to us. Let's bow our head and pray. Father God, we thank you for this time in your presence. We worship you and we praise you. Lord, we pray that you Speak to us now as your children gather together in your presence. And you say, Where two or many gather, Lord, in your name, you are in their midst. Lord, we surrender ourselves unto you. We pray that you are known, Father, our tongue, our lips to release your word. We pray that you are known the ear and of the heart of everyone here. So, Lord, when we hear your word, we can take it, we can accept it, digest it, and live according to your word. We pray that the Holy Spirit, our helper, help us now, Lord, to hear the thoughts of your word. We praise your name on the beginning, and we give you also honor at the end. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The year 2020 is almost at the end. And uh, it seemed like uh, we did not even realize. <laughs> it just so fast and so quick. You don't even realize when some months were passing. I can only realize or remember January and February until March. But when we, we got into April, May, things, uh, things start changing. <laughs> and uh, before we realized, we were in September. <laughs> before we know, we can see that, oh, these years have been gone so fast. Amen. That's what I felt it. I don't know how you feel it. It has gone so so fast compared to the previous years because something had been taken over. Coronavirus came and all our focus was how to get safe and secure. It's a pandemic. We can call it a bad pandemic. There's no pandemic that is good, but this one is something that everyone has experienced in a global wide. But we trust our God. Amen. You may have a on the beginning of this year yourself. You may have a, brought a request before God on the beginning of this year. And it seems like your plan has not been fulfilled. Uh, it may seem like your request to God may not be answered. But this morning, the Lord is telling us and remind us I remain the same God who does what I promised to do. So be comforted this morning, be strengthened and be encouraged this morning that it's not over for God to do what I plan to do for you. It's not late for God to grant your request. It's not late for God to heal you. It's not late for God to fix things in your family. It's not late for 
for to fix things in your spiritual life. It's not left for God to do what you have to do for you. Because it's a father. Even before you ask him, you know what you need. Amen. But we still have two more weeks or almost, yeah, two more weeks. I want to tell this you this morning that he may delay, but it will come to pass. Amen. Do not let the devil see your tear. Because the smile is your portion. Mm -hmm. Every year has 12 months. If God did not do it for this year, 2020, 2021, I have another 12 months coming. God can do it. Mm -hmm. Do not be desperate. Mm -hmm. God will do it at the due time. Amen. He's the one who can change every situation. He can even change the tradition. Amen. I'm going this morning to read the word of God. That will remind us and reinforce our faith in God. Because what God needs from us is our faith. Hold on. Children of God, do not give up on your faith. Do not give up on your belief. What you believe God can do for you is what God will do. Hallelujah. Amen. In the book of the, in the gospel of uh, Mark, we are going to read in the Mark, Mark 5. From verse 21. I want one of our young ladies to grab the Bible. Jojo or Biju, are you going to help us to read it? A lot of the reading come from the congregation. All have our Bible. Mark 5. From verse... Are we all there? So, Jojo, are you with me? You go and read. Let's always have our Bible on hand. Always our Bible. From verse 21 and when Jesus was to, passed, 20, to 24. And when Jesus passed over again by the ship onto the other side, people gathered unto him and he nigh unto the sea. And behold, there cometh one of the rulers of the by the name. And when he saw him, he fell at his feet and bestowed him, saying, My little daughter lieth at the point of death. Pray thee, come and lay thy hand on her, that she may be healed, and she shall live. And Jesus went with them, and much people followed him. And him. Amen. Amen. We follow the scripture. So the Bible is talking here about a chief of the synagogue whose name is Jairus. And most of us we know a little bit, I will learn a lot about this faith when Jesus healed the little dog. Of Jairo was uh, a, a leader of a synagogue. Came that Jairo's daughter is uh, sick. 
And uh, he here, uh, he know about Jesus, who was in the area, and he went to him. When we read from the, the beginning of the, the chapter, Jesus just came from the other side of the sea. When he delivered a man possessed with a demon, many demons. So Jesus just went and saw him. You know this, the man who has demon, and Jesus cast demon out of him to the swine. So he just came from the deliverance ministry. He just came from the healing process. He just came for the miracle process. He just came from somewhere he has delivered somebody who been bounded for years. And he crossed over the other sea. When Jairus was in a desperate situation, what happened because his daughter was sick? It's not only the common sickness, it's not like a we like a from season flu or a small headache or fever or upstairs stomach. It's not nothing little. It was a illness, sickness that was leading to death. And God may already went and visit physician and they went through a lot of treatment and they did not they was not heal. Care about the master, and he walked to the master, and he pleaded, "Please, ah, and lay hand on my daughter. So not only she may be healed, but she can leave. A man desperate who is seeking for help. A man who wants to be assisted." It can be me or it can be you now who are in a desperate situation. The way that it seems like death is at the door. It may not be sickness, but you might be in a situation that you, are, you need the help. And I see when I remember years ago in the Middle East, where there was a war, when you go to Syria, and people have to flee from war and escape to different country. I remember years ago in uh, Sierra Leone, in, Af in Liberia, in Africa, when people face war. I remember when it was a war in Rwanda, what are we talking about? Duty. I don't know why people can see hell. When people don't even have a pot of water to drink. People are sick. People have no shelter. But people have no food. When we see people and losing weight and feel like they have no more than muscle in their body, you can feel like all oh, the skin on their bone. I can remember that. I did not see it with my eyes, but I saw it on new TV. I can feel how people can seek for help. Recently, on, on, on the time when we hear the news about the Tigra in Ethiopia, we see how people are escaping and fleeing. We can, it can a situation like that. It may not be sickness. Can you, even in a situation, you feel like it's done for you? It can be in your marriage, it can be in your student education, it can be anything in your heart. It can be a death situation that you lost a, 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 a you lost a, 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 a loved one. You can be a situation that you lost your child, you lost your dad, mom, you lost a cousin, you lost a close friend. It can be a situation that uh, your business is up, fell down. It's about a situation that you see that things almost are about to go. And no more help for you. No more hope for you. It can be 
2020, you expect something in February, it didn't happen. You thought that in March it would happen, it doesn't happen. You wait until October happen, and we are here now, and you are worrying. Worry come and unveil your heart. This is the situation of this of Jairus. Love his daughter. Everybody love his family. Your business, you may love it because you invest your business. You invest it to your child. You invest it to your family. You invest something that you are wearing to get a profit. You invest in something that you are wearing to get a benefit. You invest in a thing in life that you want to see something. You invest in your education that you are wearing for a degree. And things seem like to be hard to be there. You might be a student that you choose to do this career and you are going to school and seem things to be hard. Asking yourself, am I going to make it? And you are about to give up. You are about to say it's not possible anymore. But Jairus is here to tell you, if it's still possible. Things can happen. But when we continue, Bijou, get your Bible. When we continue, so that is the situation of Jairus. He brought his case before Jesus. There's nothing wrong to bring your kid before Jesus. People, there's nothing bad to bring our kid before Jesus. Because it's in our last rescue. When you go to hospital, when the doctor says, there's nothing I can do anymore, what are you going to do? As a Christian, we have a Lord. We have somebody. We can go to him. Yeah. And now you are with Jesus now. Please, let's read from verse 20. 5 to 34. Verse 25 to 34. Mark 5, 25. And a certain woman which had an issue of blood 12 years and had suffered many things of many physicians and had spent all that had and was nothing mattered, but rather grew worse. When she had heard of Jesus, came in the press behind and touched his garment. For she said, If I may touch but his clothes, I shall be whole. And straightway the fountain of her blood was dried up, and she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. And Jesus, immediately knowing in himself that virtue had gone out of him, turned him about in the press and said, who touched my clothes. And his disciples said unto him, Thou seest the multitude thronging thee, and sayest thou who touched me? And he looked round at her, and done this thing. But the woman, fearing and trembling, knowing what was done in her, came and fell down before him, and told him all the truth. And he said unto her, Daughter, thy faith hath made thee whole. Go to peace, and be whole of thy plague. While he yet spake, there came from the ruler of the synagogue's house certain which said, Thou daughter is dead, why troublest thou the master any further? Amen. Hallelujah. I believe every one of us will read the Bible and we saw what happened. Amen. I believe you guys, you are following me. Amen. Are you following me? We got to be together so we can, know, we can understand the thought of God. This passage. Amen. Now that the case, the request had been brought to the Lord. And Jairus was then, and Jesus said, okay, I hear your complaint. Let's go. It's like you have a demand somewhere. You have an application somewhere. Application has been approved. Amen. From the time of approval, to the time of uh, accomplishment, anything can happen. Some people have, even in the medical uh, area, some people have been scheduled to have a surgery during this time of the pandemic. 
but the doctor office has to call them to tell them no the surgery is canceled or postponed another day that happened anything can happen what happened here jesus approved let's go to the house so i can lay hand on your daughter so she can be healed and come back to life but on this way he had been stopped by another woman he had been stopped by another case that come in his way that woman of the blood issue for 12 years she been having a blood issue and she stopped jesus from the lord approve your case anything can happen and that that's come to interfere in the general program. He just, he just come and stop Jesus who was going to do good for him. Jaros. It took time. It was a crowd. It took time. So Jesus had to stop and deal with this woman. That's the deal time. That's the delay time you may be facing now, brother and sister. A delay can come in your place. You might be approved for a marriage. Let me see your feet. But things can happen to delay it. You might be approved for a, 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 a something you, have, you, you, you brought somewhere for a delay. It can delay. Your healing process may delay, but not a deny. Your restoration may delay, may deny. Your marriage may fail at the time, but it's not a deny. Your children's education, your children's behavior may take time to be fixed, but it's not a deny. Your spouse may not give his love to Christ yet, but it's not a deny. What has been worrying you may take time to be fixed, but it's not a deny. Jesus was not complaining. It might be me, it might be you. You may be telling the master, come on, can you hurry up, let it be? Master, my daughter is dying. But this lady, why are you wasting your time for her? My daughter is dying, please, Jesus, please. She just trusts the Lord. She has faith. Trust the Lord. My brother, my sister, when else you brought your case before God, when you bring your case before the Lord, you have to believe that He's going to do it at this time. So, Jared was not complaining. He was there. He might be feeling something inside of him because he loved his daughter. There's nothing wrong with you when you sometimes some anxiety inside of you you going to feel like it's is taking it time if it's taking time for me it's taking time for me it's taking time for me to be a father it's taking time for me to be a mama it's taking time for me to be healed i cannot do what I do by myself anymore people have people have to take care of me i cannot do this anymore I can, people have to do for me i cannot i cannot i cannot it's normal but one thing you have to keep. Don't let the devil see your tear. Don't let the devil feel that you are desperate. Jesus was not desperate. He was there. And what happened? At the time that still whole, a messenger came. A messenger came from him. From him. Visual. From verse 35 to 35. 35 to 39. While he spake, there came from the ruler of the synagogue's house certain which said, Thou daughter is dead. Why troublest thou the master any further? As soon as Jesus heard the word spoken, he said unto the ruler of the synagogue, Be not afraid, only believe. And he for no men to follow him, save Peter and James and John, the brother of James. And he cometh to the house of the ruler of the synagogue and seeth the tumult, 
and them that wept, wept and wailed greatly. And when he ha and when he was come in, he said unto them, Why make ye this ado and weep? The damsel is not dead, but sleepeth. Amen. Uh, and you see what happened. At the time Jesus was still there, and we think that he was waiting time, he was wasting his time, or he was delaying, it was taking too long. Then what happened? A messenger came from the house of Jairus that the work happened. His daughter is no longer sick, but she is dead. It's like Mary and Sarah sent a messenger to Jesus about Lazarus who was sick. It did not show until Lazarus died. What are we going to say? My worry. Worry. Come now. So I'll say, I was right to be worrying. I was right to be worrying. That's why you're going to tell yourself. I was right to be worrying. I was waiting. It's just taking long. It's taking time. And now, bad happened. Maybe you see a neighbor down street, a neighbor you know that was worrying until this happened. Within that day, me too may happen to me. That's why I may think. And nobody, he went to the same situation I'm going through now, and the worst happened. And you see, like a desperate. You think that it can probably happen to you too. And you've been worried. But what Jesus told Jairus? He said, Here, what the messenger, when the messenger came to Jairus, the message didn't go to Jesus, but he hear when they were talking to him. He hear the message that had been sent to Jairus. And I can tell you that that message is not from Jesus. That message is from the devil. Don't let the devil whisper to your ear. The devil tell you that your sickness take you to death. Then let the devil tell you that your situation is down. There's nothing that can be done anymore. Don't let the devil talk to your ear. Hold on on your faith. Of course, the devil cannot talk to Jesus. It's to heroes. And Jesus hear that. And he say, I hear what they say. But you know, Jeros, not believe. Help is on the way. Not listen to what they say. Obviously, your child died. It might be established maybe by the physician that he died or she died. Believe, not be afraid. The Lord is telling you this morning, believe, do not be afraid. Even if it seem like a normal way, like if somebody can go to the hospital, the doctor will say, you diagnose this kind of disease in your body, that there's nothing you can do. Believe in the most higher. In the more higher for your brother, for your sister. Believe in the most higher sister you pray for. Believe in the most higher that the prayer you have been given to the door, you have brought to the door, it's going to be accomplished. Believe in that. Be not afraid. Just believe. What help is on the way for you? And the Bible says, and and what your daughter is not, she's sleeping. Like Jesus said, Lazarus did not, he's not dying. He's just sleeping. Your case may be hold. God is working on it. Your case is being processing. 
your situation is in being processing. The answer is the way. Be not afraid. Just believe. You know, this kind of approach, generous approach to Jesus, is not something that is like a regular or no. It's something that takes us to the deepest of our faith. The belief and the trust you have in the Jesus. We have to trust him. Believe in him. It's not because everybody going through something and they face this situation that it had to happen to you also. This year people got sick and healed. Some people got sick and the Lord has taken them. It might be the son of God. Hallelujah. Do not 2020 the term you are attached of your goal. Another year, 2020, God can do something, can have something for you in 2021. Your answer may come in 2022. If you do not see this year, that means that this year is the only year that God has to do it for you. Imagine, just hold on. Help is on the way for you. And the Bible says, and then people laugh at Jesus. Exactly. When it happens like that, people are going to laugh because it, it seems anormal for those who declare dead, they're going to say that he's sleeping. That's what is your situation will be. When people will be laughing, just let them laugh. They will see what God can do. And Jesus departed, he said, the Bible says, and he went to the house. In verse 40, and they laughed at him to scorn. When he had put them all out, he took the father and the mother of the damsel, of the, 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 the girl, and then that they were with him and enter where the damsel was lying. And he took the damsel by the hand and said unto her, Talitakumi, which is being interpreted, damsel, I say unto thee, arise. And straightway, the damsel arose and walk, for she was of the age of 12 years. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The person was declared dead, came back alive. The Bible says she was like a, she was 12 years old. Amen. She was 12 years old. The woman of the blood issue has been going through that situation for 12 years. This girl has 12 years. The year of 12 months. God can do it for you. God's not going to take you to the 13th month. Every year is the year God can do something for you. Every month comes for God. If you didn't do it in the first month, before the year over, God will do it for you. Help is on the way for you, brother, my sister. That's what God shifting. The one was declared deaf. Come up to lie. Everything that may be declared deaf in your body, in your situation, and you back up, you backslide. And that I made up my mind. There's no more way for me. You say it. He said the Lord did not say it. But until you put your faith, your trust in him, let him do it. You know, when Lazarus died, he was put into grave. People were crying. People were mourning. You know, you have to go sometime through a painful situation to know when people mourn what it is. If you lost somebody you love, and some of us here, we went through that painful situation. When you lost somebody, you lost your brother, you lost your sister, you be raised together from the childhood. When you lost your child, that you be raising and investing in him, so tomorrow you can see him grow and you can see great children through him. When you lost your husband and your, your, or your wife, you know what is it? 
If you do not have that experience, I pray God that you don't go through that experience. You'll feel the pain out of your belly. You'll feel your feet not standing on the floor anymore. It's what happened when Lazarus died. So Mary and Sarah and the whole family, everybody was mourning. That's the tradition. When you lost someone, you'll be mourning. You'll be falling. You'll be scrolling down on the floor. Nobody can stop you. Nobody can consolate you. This man is not anymore a help that people seek when they are on the war field. It's not a help people seek for food to eat. That is the, something that is in your heart. That you need a help. It's not a food you need anymore, but you need a comforter. We call the Holy Spirit. So you might be a tradition of mourning and paying food, which is normal. But Jesus came into the heart of Mary and Mara and Lazarus, the same way he went into the heart of Jairus, when people have been mourning by tradition, and he, came, and he changed the tradition. He changed the weeping and mourning into laugh. And people have been laughing now. People have been falling down, suddenly they jump and say, What's going on? They say, Lazarus came back to life. What's going on? Jerus Dara came back to life. What's going on? Doka, Stapita, she came back to life. What's going on? The body we've been going to burn, that top bone of Elijah came back to life. He changed the tradition. He can change the tradition for you too. He can shift it over. What the doctor say, Jesus can shift it. Why you think it's over? Jesus can shift it. What is normal? What is being written by the constitution of the nation? Jesus can shift it. What everybody say, that's the way things go. Jesus can shift it. He will shift it for you. Believe if he doesn't do it in January, believe until the end of the month. In 12 months, 12 years, no matter how long it takes, Jesus will fix it. And I tell you this morning, don't know what situation you'll be going through. Help is on the way. People were mourning in the house of Jairus. Help was on the way. And the help came to them. Because Jesus told Jairus, believe. He believed in what Jesus said. Help came and entered his house. Help came from Jesus. He entered the house of Mary. The dead body came back to life. Your situation, help is on the way for you. God will do for you. God bless you. Be not afraid, only believe. No matter what your situation is, today, God is telling us, be not afraid, but believe. Being with Jesus changed everything in our lives. We are not desperate. Hallelujah. Christian, we cannot be desperate. No matter what is the problem, trust the Lord. I don't know what is your situation this morning. I don't know what your case has been for long. Maybe you are discouraged. Maybe you say like uh, Abraham, oh God, don't uh, forget it. But look here, 12 years old, raised back. The lady has an issue of blood for 12 years. And uh, the Holy Spirit told us, 
in a year. They are 12 months. So God can do every year. He can intervene in your problem, in your situation. Don't think that it's only 2020. Oh, because 2020 is over. God forgot me. No, he has not forgotten you. It's not a denier. It's just a delay. Hallelujah. Now we're going to pray. Let's stand up. Let's all stand up. And what we're going to tell the Lord, I don't know, uh, Bijou, if you can uh, sing. I'm going to pray where are we wait on the Lord. You remember that? I'm going to wait, you know. We can sing it. Na, na, na. Grace, Mama Grace. That's our prayer. We, we decide to wait on the Lord. We decide to wait on the Lord. No matter what our situation is. No matter what our condition is. We are going to wait on the Lord. Trusting God that he is able. He loves us. He loves us. And he's going to do, he's, he's a, I mean, a compassionate, he's, if we, if you can play, I see the Holy Spirit going to help you. Waiting, mm. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm I know my waiting. I know my waiting. I know my waiting. Oh, you Lord. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind. On you, Lord. I know Tell him the situation. 
those who are going to wait for him, those who are going to wait on him, tell him, for this, Lord, I'm going to wait on you. For this, Lord, I'm, I'm going to wait on you. Let's pray. Mm, yes, Lord, hallelujah. You see everything, oh God. And we come today, oh God, in faith. Believe in you, oh Jesus, that you are oh God. Anything in our situation, in our problem, we know, Lord, that you can do. I'm going to wait, Jesus. I'm going to wait for your time. I'm going to wait that you are in the vein. I'm going to wait in this situation. In, I'm, I'm going to wait in this case. I'm going to wait in the problem, oh God. I'm going to wait, Jesus. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. For my children, I don't mind waiting, hallelujah. For my family, I don't mind waiting, God. For my ministry, I don't mind waiting, oh God. For your church, I don't mind, I don't mind waiting. Are we waiting, oh God? Are we waiting for your promise, oh God? Are we waiting, oh God, for you to do anything, to do miracle, to change situation, to change condition? To change my life, I'll be waiting, oh God. I'll be waiting on you. Hallelujah. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting on you, Lord. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. Oh, you know, I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. I don't mind waiting. Papa, I don't mind waiting. Alléluia. Ah, dans 1 Jean 5, 14, 15, j'ai cette assurance. Alléluia. Et devant ton quelque chose. Alléluia. Nous l'avons. Mm. Seigneur, le vrai et la chair est chair. Mm. Mais ta parole reste ta parole. Amen. Nous voulons recommander tous tes enfants ici présents et ceux qui nous suivent. Et tu es la solution. Tu es le seul qui a la solution à nos problèmes. Amen. Tout celui qui t'a soumis son cas, Seigneur, aujourd'hui, tu la réconfortes. Amen. Je suis sûr, Seigneur, qui a commencé à faire un grand travail oh bien. dans le cœur de tout un chacun, parce que la solution est déjà. Amen. Merci, Seigneur, de nous avoir envoyé ta parole pour nous encourager, pour ton Église, encourager tes enfants. Il y avait déjà le désespoir. Mais maintenant, nous croyons que ce que tu as fait, ce que tu as dit va se réaliser dans nos vies. Les malades vont guérir. Amen. Les morts vont ressusciter. Amen. Ce qui attend de les enfants auront des enfants. Amen. Merci pour les finances. Mmh. Merci pour la sécurité. Amen. 
Merci pour la bonne santé. Amen. Nous les proclamons, Seigneur. Mm. Et nous croyons. Et toi, tu dis la vérité. Et tu dis que la vérité. Nous te disons merci parce que nous avons reçu l'exemple. Et à partir d'aujourd'hui, nous allons vivre comme ayant déjà des bébés dans nos bras. Amen. Nous allons vivre comme étant des hommes et des femmes riches. Amen. Nous allons vivre, même si les maladies sont encore dans nos corps, les douleurs, nous allons vivre comme des gens déjà qui... Amen. Nous allons manifester cela, Seigneur. Nous allons faire cette démonstration de moi. Seigneur, merci. Merci de nous avoir exaucés la journée d'aujourd'hui. Merci de nous avoir parlé. Et merci d'avoir parlé particulièrement à ces âmes qui étaient découragées. Nous te disons un grand merci. Au nom de Jésus-Christ qui vit et règne pour l'éternité. Amen. Applaudissons les Seigneurs. Merci Jésus. Gloire à ton nom. Amen. Now it's time for us to come with our offering and thigh. And those who are watching at home, don't forget, you can sell your, your, your offering, your tie. Uh, you have uh, the email dinstar77 at aol.com or on number 678-727-620405 to uh, send your, your contribution. And uh, you can also send your, your uh, information to Deconis. Adole, and she will process everything. So let's pray for all our offering and tie in Jesus' name. Almighty oh God, we thank you for this great time of offering. And as you will declare that it's more blessed to give than to receive. So we declare that this is a time of blessing. Thank you, Lord, because you I uh, love the cheerful giver. Thank you to give seed to the sower. And thank you to bless everything that your children will bring into your, your household, your house, into your, 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 your treasure house, uh, your, your house treasure, so that everything be done according to your word. As you promise to bless, as you promise to de rebuke the devourer, as you promise to open the windows of heaven and to let the blessing flow over your people, do it, Lord, and let glory be to you. In the mighty name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior, we pray. Amen. Amen. Can y'all please stand up so we can't offer the Lord with choice? Mm -hmm. We are, we are the chosen generation Called for to show his excellence all I require for life, God has given me. I know who I am. For we are, we are the chosen generation. God, but to show is it. All I require for life, God has given me. I know, I know who I am. I know who God says I am. Where he says I am. Where he says I am. I know who God says I am. Where he says I am. I'm walking in the dark. I'm walking in the dark. Oh, I 
Bienvenue, Papa, bienvenue. Good to see you. God bless. Amen, amen. Uh, next week, we're going to be the third Sunday of the month. So don't forget for our social uh, contribution. Don't forget that social uh, contribution. It's very important. It's very important. Because, you know, when something happens, most of them, and especially now, the church doesn't have the money. But if you are regular in your contribution with the service, the uh, social fund, you can receive $1,000, $1,500, and it's going to help you to start with the situation that you face. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So don't forget that social service uh, contribution for every month. It's just $20. If you see how much money you spend with the phone, calling card to call back home, uh, just twenty dollar a month is gonna help you to solve a situation. When your father die, when your mother die, you're gonna receive fifteen hundred dollars. I don't. I think it's fifteen. Eh? Fifteen hundred dollars. So it's gonna help you. It's gonna help. So don't because if you don't contribute. I mean, we we be there. We say, ah, sorry, sorry. The the the, the 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 our our treasure, our church treasury, don't have the money. We be ah, sorry, sorry. Then maybe okay, if somebody can, then twenty dollar, twenty dollar. You got three hundred dollar. But if you are regular in participating, twenty dollar every month, they cut you a check, fifteen hundred dollar. So it, 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 don't forget that. We pay insurance, we pay, don't, don't forget that too. Amen? So every, every Tuesday, you know, we are online with our, our service at 7 p.m. I encourage us to join the Zoom so that we can uh, Zoom up. But if you can't go on Facebook, you can still follow the service every Tuesday and every uh, Thursday, 7 p.m. 
let's be ready. You know, this year, sometimes we say, oh, this year is over. But sometimes also we say, ah, 2020, 2020, we want that year to finish. Hallelujah. So we get to the new year. Maybe new year going to get also new things. So December the 31st, we're going to be here. December 24th, there's nothing we can do for Christmas. But December 20, uh, 31st night, we come here to celebrate our God who have kept us, who have healed us, who did great things for us in the uh, midst of the pandemic. We are still there. And uh, we want to thank God, a special praise and uh, thanksgiving on December the 31st. Amen? All right. Uh, I know we got some birthday, Grace. You have birthday. And uh, Grace Mungu, she's not here. So we still got two Grace. Alaya, Alaya, to 11? 11. Nice. Daya, Grace, and Grace Mungu, they have a birthday. So please, ah, let, let's sing for them. Can we stand up? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you all. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you all. Happy birthday to you. One more time. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you all. Happy birthday to you. Papa. Seigneur, nous te disons merci. Pour Maman Grace qui est née le, le 7 décembre, Alaya qui est née le 11 décembre, qui a bien fait de faire naître la maman avant la fille. Et disons merci. Soyez bénis de la part de notre Dieu. Prospérez à tous égards. Le Seigneur vous donne des années meilleures et une protection totale pour la gloire de son nom. Et disons abondamment merci, Papa. Tu le gardes, tu le garderas et la sagesse d'en haut les accompagnera. La gloire de ton nom, Seigneur. Que cet enfant grandisse en stature et en sagesse et suivre l'exemple de, de Christ, notre Seigneur. Alléluia. Tu vas donner toute la sagesse à la maman pour pouvoir l'éduquer, protéger cet enfant contre toutes les souillures de ce monde. Amen. Merci Seigneur. Nous prions aussi pour grâce Bungu qui n'est pas là, Seigneur. Et tu poses ta main, Seigneur, sur elle. Et ta protection l'accompagne. Qu'elle soit comblée de ta sagesse. Au nom de Jésus-Christ, nous vous recommandons au Seigneur Jésus. Mmh. Amen. Et puis, ben, je... Amen. Mmh. Now we're going to finish, but uh, we're going to sing a song. Let's stand up. We're going to sing that song. I want us to, to be joyful for the, that song we're going to sing. I don't know if you can uh, play it, but we're going to sing. Béni soit le nom du Seigneur. Béni soit le nom du Seigneur. 
Béni soit le nom du Seigneur, le très haut. Que nous clavions rien de la volée. Béni soit le nom du Seigneur. Béni soit le nom du Seigneur. Béni soit le nom du Seigneur, le très haut. Le nom du Seigneur. Le nom du Seigneur est un refuge, un refuge, le juste, le juste à coudance pour être sauvé. Le nom du Seigneur est un refuge. Le juste à coudance et ils sont sauvés. Béni, béni soit le nom du Seigneur. Béni soit le nom du Seigneur. Béni soit le nom du Seigneur. Le très haut. Bless me the name. Blessé be the name of the Lord. Blessé be the name of the Lord. Blessé be the name of the Lord. The Most High. One more time, blessed be the name. Blessé be the name of the Lord. Blessé be the name of the Lord. Blessé be the name of the Lord. Le monde de l'eau, de de the love of God the Father, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us. And the fellowship of the Holy Ghost. For we know that in all things, for we know that in all things, we are more than conquerors. We are more than conquerors. In Jesus' name, Amen. Let's go in peace. Amen. Amen. And have Amen. a blessed week. Amen. Amen. Glory Amen. be to God. Amen. Amen. Bless, Amen. bless, bless. Hallelujah, 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 Jesus, 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 glory, 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 glory.